President Biden outlined the steps he believes lawmakers need to take to address mass shootings right here in the United States. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton shows us what Republican lawmakers have to say on this issue, as well as a local mom whose own daughter was killed by gun violence last December. June 1st, the 152nd day of the year, marked the first day of hurricane season and sadly, the day of yet another mass shooting in America. This one, not at a school, a grocery store, church or mall, but a hospital in Tulsa, Oklahoma. There are too many other schools, too many other everyday places that have become killing fields, battlefields. And there has been 233 mass shootings so far this year, according to the nonprofit organization Gun Violence Archive. For parents like La Maria Smith, it's enough. It makes me feel very upset. And this is her daughter, Savannah Mathis. She was just 21 years old, in school working to become a nurse. She graduated from Plant High School with a 5.0 GPA. Savannah was gunned down in her car near Julian B. Lane Park. How many families got to die? And how many people got to keep crying? We wake up with this nightmare. We go to sleep with this nightmare. This pain never ease up. I don't care what nobody tell you. The president claims that most Americans support common sense gun laws. I want to be very clear. This is not about taking away anyone's guns. In fact, we believe we should be treating responsible gun owners as an example of how every gun owner should behave. President Biden ran off a list of what common sense gun reform is for him. The biggie is the call for a ban on assault rifles. And he says, if not a ban, then lawmakers should raise the age limit for people who can buy assault rifles from 18 to 21. Parents like La Maria are pushing for that one. Not many Republicans agree. Congressman Jim Jordan spoke out earlier Thursday on legislation presented to the House Judiciary Committee. No one wants another tragedy. No one wants this to happen again. Democrats never once reached out to us to seek our input on the legislation we're considering here today. Protecting children is not a Republican or Democrat issue. The Democrats cobble together a package of measures. This is not a real attempt, in my judgment, to find solutions. Senator Mitch McConnell told CNN he's hopeful and optimistic a compromise can be reached. J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.